now we're going to assemble the extruder. For the extruder, you're going to need your stepper motor, your acrylic parts, your extruder pinion gear, your ball bearing, your M8 by 14 millimeter bolt, an M3 by 20 millimeter bolt, two M3 by 18 millimeter bolts, four M4 nuts, three M3 by 14 millimeter bolts. And you're also gonna need your plastic tubing that was provided for you. Now we're gonna assemble the stepper motor for your extruder. The teeth of your pinion are gonna to go to the bottom and you wanna align the Allen screw with the flat side of your shaft. You're gonna put it down roughly about there. Lightly tighten it. You may need to adjust this later in the build, so we'll just keep it there for now. Now we need to assemble our tube ends. Now your tube's gonna to need to be cut. So you wanna measure roughly how much you're gonna need of this tubing from your hot end down to where you're gonna install your extruder. Once you get that length measured out, you're gonna to wanna to cut the excess of your tubing. You roughly end up with this much tubing and around this much at your end. Now we're gonna to need to thread our tubing with M4 nuts and your cross section acrylic piece. And your final product will look something like this. To do that, you're gonna to need to create threading with the M4 nut onto the tubing. Preferably doing this by hand. Once you get the bolt on there, you'll notice that the tubing is threaded. So next, you're gonna put your acrylic piece, and then you're gonna thread the next bolt. And you're gonna hand tighten these bolts together. So when you're done, you'll have two pieces that look similar to this. Once you finish setting up your tubing, you wanna check the ends for, for easy access of your filament through the tubing. Now if there's any kind of grab whatsoever, this will be an issue later on when you're trying to print. Take a small diameter item, for example a 1.5 millimeter Allen, and work it through your tubing so you can ream the hole to relieve any restriction of the filament going through your tubing. Once you've done that, your filament should pass through easily with no restriction at all. Make sure you do it to both sides. Now for the actual assembly of your extruder components. Placing your motor in this orientation, I'm gonna work with my wires pointing away from me. First, we're gonna take this acrylic piece and line it up with your holes. Next, we'll take these acrylic pieces and we're gonna stack them on this side of the mortar. So first you're gonna take this piece and it goes down first. Then you're gonna take the two, you'll take the two ends with the little nudges, place them on top of each other and put them on top. And then you'll take the other rounded piece, the very top. So now taking the two M3 by 18 millimeter bolts, secure these onto the mortar. Next you're gonna take these two pieces one has smaller diameter holes in it than the other. You're going to take the piece with the smaller holes, it's going to go on the bottom. The piece with the bigger holes is going to go on top. Now how you can tell is by laying them on top of each other and looking through and you can see the beveled edge of the smaller hole piece on the bottom. Now we're going to take the pieces we put together earlier. You're going to take your smaller end, put it on this side in the middle hole and you'll take the longer end put it on this side slot you're gonna lay your bearing over the big hole now you'll take your top piece 
line up the square holes, lay it down. You take your M8 by 14 millimeter bolt and hand tighten it into the center hole. Now you'll take your three M3 by 14 millimeter bolts and you're gonna install them here, here, and here. Now these thread through the top into the bottom. You want to make sure that your threading does not protrude through the bottom side of your acrylic. It should be a flat surface all through here. If it does come out further, you want to back off from the other end of your screws. For your next step, you're going to take your M3 by 20 millimeter bolt and it'll slide right through that opening and you line it up with that opening there. And this needs to thread all the way down into your mortar. You don't want to completely tighten it because you want free movement on the top, but you want it nice and snug. Now we're going to test some filament through it. You want to make sure your filament flows through and the final step, you would utilize one of the clips provided to apply pressure to your filament along the ball bearing and the teeth, making sure your teeth are aligned right along with your filament. 